Oh, boy. It's one of those big days. At, like, we are on the cusp of one of my favorite days at Hatch Realty ever. And in studio with us to promote this day, two wonderful people, Kelsey Mickinen of Hatch Realty, our events coordinator, and Chris Wellsand of Down Home. How are you, ladies? Great. Thanks for having me. Yeah, good. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> uh, Chris, tell our listening audience about Down Home because it is a nonprofit that is so spectacular and really aligned with the real estate industry. Thank you. Down Home's been in existence for a little over two years, and it was founded because um, Jake and Janessa Philippi, the founders, saw that there was a gap in the community for families coming out of homelessness. Mm. They'd get into their housing, but then they didn't have any furniture. They didn't have beds for their kids, a table to sit at, couch to cuddle up with their kiddos on, and so they created Down Home. And so what we do is we help families coming out of homelessness. They transition into their new space, and they have zero resources, no family or friends to help, no financial mm -hmm. resources. They can pay rent, but they it's going to take them a really long time to be able to furnish their space. So we come in, completely furnish, and decorate their new homes. Uh, what So what inspired this? Like, uh, obviously, uh, there's good that needs to be done, and y'all are doing good. I say y'all like I'm not from like three blocks <laughs> from here. Uh, uh, you're doing great good. Uh, where did all this come from? What's the heart behind it? Well, Jake and Janessa were seeing this need in the community. Janessa is mm -hmm. a, a school counselor in the Fargo Public Schools, mm -hmm. and she was, you know, working with families who kiddos weren't getting enough sleep. Talking about sleeping on the floor, not getting a good night's sleep is really affecting the kids she works yeah. with at school. And then Jake is a handyman. He'd go into homes to do repairs and see that they wouldn't have even basic needs, basic comforts of a home. And so they realized that they wanted to do something more, and they felt a divine intervention to do that. So are all these things uh, like brand new, fresh off the shelves, or are you using resources of donations and thrift stores and that sort? Combination of both. So okay. we have new mattresses that we have a um, set up a deal with a, a company up in Grand Forks, and yeah. they deliver the mattresses for an exceptional price to us. And we also which, get which donations. Of course, it, it, if you know anything about a mattress, like you don't want somebody else's mattress, which is no, ironic that like- no. I could put a mattress out on the street corner and say for free and people are like, no, but I can put it in a hotel and say uh, for 150 bucks a night, you can sleep on somebody else's mattress and we do it. So that's a weird thing that I just brought up, but <laughs> <laughs> we have new mattresses only. Yes, we don't accept that's, you. So that's, that's so important. And right. it's, it's such a big right. deal. Right. Yeah. And then we get pillows donated from my pillow. Oh, so they, and isn't that a North Dakota incredible. company? It's a Minnesota company. Minnesota company. Yeah. So close enough. Right. Uh, right. Uh, but my pillow is like this big national brand. Right. Right. What a great thing that they're doing to help uh, to help out in this community. Right. It's exceptional. And then a lot of the other items that we get can be donated from the community okay. in a like new, gently used state. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And my guess is somebody right now is listening and they're like, I have, uh, I just got a new couch or we have some end tables that we don't use anymore, that sort. Uh, mm -hmm. Is there a way that they can easily get that to you? Yes, we have a warehouse okay. in Fargo, and they can email us at info at down-home.org, and Char, our assistant, will be able to let them know if we can take it. Our, our warehouse is in a remodel right now. It'll be sure. fully open on May 1st, but we're a little limited on space right now. So, but, uh, and, and folks, if you're listening, and you don't even have to remember that information, if you contact us at Hatch Realty, Kelsey and the good people there are going to make sure that you get that information. Yeah. But but how did the three of us come in studio here today? Because Kelsey, uh, we're doing something really special next week with Down Home, with our clients, with our listening audience. What's happening on February 13th? Yeah, so February 13th is date night and Giving Hearts Day. We always make sure we pair the two up to make it just a giving thon of just a great day. So what's date night? Because yeah. we, of course, know what it is, but uh, there's probably people saying, man, I could use a date right now. <laughs> right. <laughs> so it's kind of a date night, but you don't have to bring anyone. You just come on in, um, RSVP to get your free pizza, and then you get to pick soda, wine, or beer. So. so we're giving away, uh, We're uh, I think the goal this year is 900 date night packages, right? Yep, you got it. So mm -hmm. these pizzas, uh, they're large take and bake pizzas, delicious. I've had uh, several just to prepare mm -hmm. for the event. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and then people get to choose their drink of choice, yeah? Yep, they do. Yep. Uh, why in the world do we do this, Kelsey? Well, at Hatch Realty, we just want to give back to the community. We want to say thank you for to those that have helped us along the way. And it's just our way of giving back and doing good. So when somebody walks in, are we trying to sell them a house? Absolutely not. We're going to greet you with a smile and maybe a hug, and you're going to come on in, get your package, and you can be on your way, or you can hang out with us. But when they show up, 
Down Home has partnered with us, as well as Giving Hearts Day, which is February 13th. If you haven't received 9,000 emails yet, they're coming, because <laughs> Giving Heart, Hearts Day is the real deal and such a great, awesome movement in our community. Mm-hmm. Uh, how in the world are we partnering together with Down Home and with Giving Hearts Day? What does that look like? Yeah, so uh, Down Home will have a booth set up with more information, and the reason we chose them was we're passionate about real estate, and they kind of aligned really good. So at Hatch, we voted on them, so very cool. The big winner. Yeah, Yeah, Uh, we're excited. It's our first Giving Hearts Day, so it's a really big deal for us. Well, Giving Hearts Day is that time when some people even, they save up their money, they plan their giving strategically around it. Uh, A lot of the nonprofits work to find their own matches also, uh, so that that... uh, those dollars can be multiplied. Uh, what's your goal, Chris, for Giving Hearts Day? Do you have a, a dollar a month that y'all are shooting for? We do. We have a ten thousand dollar match, so okay. we'd love to hit twenty thousand or more. Oh, that's so, big. Yeah. Well, what usually happens is when folks show up, uh, you know, we'll have a computer station set up, and if even if you're not taking part in our date night, and if you are interested, can they still sign up, Kelsey? Yes, absolutely. Um, now through Monday, you can sign up, and you go to our Hatch Realty website and sign up on there. So HatchRealty.com, you can get a free pizza, free beer, wine, or soda, and all you need to do is go to our website today or tomorrow, and we'll get you a date night package. But even if you don't want the date night package, you can come and donate Mm-hmm. either to down home directly and they can do so online or give a cash or check. Uh, we even take IOUs. It's incredible, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, Chris, I want to share this with you uh, because uh, I have a heart uh, for uh, for the homeless and I had a chance. Uh, well, I used to work at First Lutheran Church uh, in the 2000s. That sounds so weird to say. Uh, <laughs> but I started a movement called Homeless and Hungry and it was this awareness piece on uh, on taking care of those that are sometimes the least of these in our community. We wanted to sure. do a mission experience in our own backyard. Right. And so we started this and I got um, aligned with uh, dozens, if not hundreds of people who were homeless. And, and your entire perspective changes when you are side by side with those people. Right. And you move either from apathy or sympathy into empathy. Mm-hmm. And that's what I hear you speak of when you're talking about down home is when you can hear the stories of those kids and when you can step into the places where people are sleeping on the floor with a sheet and and you say, we have to do something. And so uh, it is personal for me as well. My wife is a first grade teacher and speaks of situations like that also. Uh, And and for folks that are listening, I hope it's personal for you. And if not, we can introduce you to some people that will, I think, change your perspective and rock your world. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's a big deal, Chris, uh, for you and your involvement, uh, what is your position with down home and why did you choose to work with this organization? Yeah. Good question. I work with down home as a volunteer and I give them, um, most of my time during the week that I have available Hmm. about five to 10 hours and I help them in development and marketing. That's great. So that's what I used to do for a living before I stayed at home. So So you're all volunteer based. I'm all mostly, we have a 0.6 administrative assistant Char who is, She's a rock star. And so that's the only paid staff. Otherwise, we're completely volunteer-led. Oh, wow. So mm-hmm. uh, completely volunteer-led. Raising 10000 bucks that multiplies to 20000 will be huge. Really big. And, yes. and, and folks, if you can have it in your heart to eat pizza and drink beer, wine, or soda, if, that is, <laughs> if, if you're willing to make that sacrifice, it costs you nothing, but you get a chance to be introduced to great people like Chris and to be a part of our Hatch Realty Network. Uh, there's no sales pitch. There's no gimmick. We literally just want to give things away. So go to HatchRealty.com. February 13th. It is this week. We are hot diggity dog in it right now. Uh, Kelsey, Chris, thanks for being with us in studio. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. folks, we're going to go to break, but in the meantime, go to hatchrealty.com and sign up for your date night package. This is Real Estate Radio with Eric Hatch.